June 8th, 2021, Minecraft updated to 1.17, the Caves and Cliffs update, part 1, bringing a ton of brand new blocks, items, and mechanics into Minecraft. But what is playing the new update like on a very old established world? The answer may surprise you. I'm Guns is Wearier. Let's get into this. So Mojang has made it very clear they want to respect old worlds. And so all the new features in 1.17 will be generating in brand new chunks in parts of your world you have never been to before. Because of this, my goals include making my way out to brand new chunks in order to experience the update. 1.17 has also brought a lot of exciting bug fixes to Minecraft. But classic game development, bug fixes mean more bugs will inevitably appear. And this is where our story begins. Upon updating my world to 1.17 and loading in, I made my way over to my gold farm to gather up some resources before making the journey. However, one of my comrades wanted to use the XP farm, which doubles as a gold farm. And the portal mechanics do not seem to work anymore in 1.17. This is really unfortunate because I've spent a lot of time at that gold farm. I'm sure there'll be some sort of 1.17 gold farm tutorial, though, uh, in order to fix that issue. Anyway, I went over to my advanced nether highway system, which I have set up that allows me to get very far in my world in a very short amount of time, located in Y120 in the nether. Unfortunately, I've encountered some serious bugs with my portals not working correctly, and uh, there should be some sort of hotfix out for a few of these issues, for example, 1.17.1. This usually happens with updates. There'll be a few minor issues that Mojang will quickly take care of in the next few days. After a careful examination of my nether portal system, I was ready to make the journey though, for real this time. My comrade was using a skeleton spawner I made for bone meal as an XP farm, so that issue was solved. And I was finally ready to make my way to new chunks. Taking a long walk on my nether highway, digging a brand new path, making a portal, and finding new chunks in a location in my world that I'm pretty sure I was never before. And I was correct. When I came out of the portal, I was over a massive ocean and quickly found out I was in brand new chunks. 1.17 was waiting for me and all the awesome features. Man, was I hyped. Now, here are some of my reactions to the 1.17 features. You're trolling me. There's glow light then. Yeah! Yes! We are in new chunks, baby! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Now find us better stuff. <laughs> new chunks! Glow like it. Nom, 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 nom. All right, this is hype right now. We have found new Woo! chunks. So I've heard that uh, oceans are a real easy way to find amulets. Amulet, amulet, wait, amulet. Wait, wait, wait. Glow squid! Glow squid! <laughs> Yeah! Kill it, get glow sack. Copper! New guns. stuff! Guns, 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 guns. Do you have a bucket? Do I have a bucket? Do you have a bucket? Do I have a bucket? Get an axolotl. I was so happy. I started terraforming my island a little bit in preparation for creating a small base. And man, this island and coastline reminded me of old school Minecraft for some reason. But then, whoo, I encountered my first axolotl. It's so cute. And so on and so forth. Wow. An axolotl! I must go to my base hi, now. Hi. <gasps> yes, an axolotl. Yes! I have an axolotl! Wouldn't it be After some thought, I decided to make my way over to land to begin the process of mining. I made my way over to a comfortable spot started gathering some wood and began digging straight down the professional way. I actually stumbled right into a ravine, which was very exciting. This was quite perfect because I needed an open space to explore some of the new features. Exploring around here, I found a ton of glow liking literally everywhere in the oceans and the caves. This stuff is everywhere, man. I started digging up some deep slate and also found some deep slate ore. Apparently copper deep slate and coal deep slate is pretty rare and I found a little bit of that as well. And then I set up my beacon and began to mine around a lot. I'm not sure what I was looking for, but I enjoyed it nonetheless. It was pretty exciting. I went back to the surface and started playing around with some of the different variations of deep slate. You can make a lot with this block. 
I made some copper. I experimented with fortune on iron and gold, a brand new mechanic. And then I decided to explore out a little bit in search of an amethyst geode. Now I didn't find a trace of one in my previous mining session, but I've heard the ocean is a great place to look because the smooth basalt is exposed in the ocean floor. I explored around a lot and I actually found this awesome looking shipwreck underneath some massive icebergs. But you know what I found directly in front of this boat? Oh yeah, it was an amethyst geode. I went inside and began mining up some of the amethyst. I made my way out after gathering some of the cool blocks and made my way to that shipwreck to pick up that abandoned treasure map and dug up some treasure. And I actually found an ocean monument on the journey as well. I took a little detour in there to murder the Elder Guardian, but that was about it, all right? Because my doors were no longer allowing me to breathe underwater. So I decided, mm, I'll tackle this later with more water-breathing potions. I made my way back to my little area, and that was my first experience with 1.17. Overall, my thoughts on this update is, I'm glad Mojang has given us some of the features for this update. Initially, the Caves and Cliffs update was going to be one big update, but they decided to split it into two releases. 1.17 being part 1, 1.18 being part 2, bringing the rest of the features of the Caves and Cliffs update. I will say the update did feel a little bit lackluster, because I did want to explore some of the new caves, some of the really high mountains, but that's coming this holiday. I do really appreciate all the new blocks, though, and they look really good. Overall, 1.17 is a great update, but 1.18, that is what I'm most excited for. The brand new Deep Slate Caves, the Warden, the brand new mountains, that is where it's at for sure. But this will do for now, and I again, I appreciate the features being given us players for us to enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I will be making a ton more videos about 1.17 because I love Minecraft. It's an awesome game. If you have made it this far into the video, you are also an awesome person. And I will see you again soon. All right, everybody. Bye-bye.